And for a roundup of the events that marked the CELAC China Summit, here's our correspondent Liz Scherfius. Foreign ministers from across Latin America and the Caribbean have converged on Beijing for the two-day CELAC China Summit, which seeks to increase cooperation between the regional body and the Asian giants. Kicking off the event was China's commitment of $250 billion to invest in the 33 member states making up the CELAC body over the next decade. China has more than demonstrated its economic capacity and above all its political will to meet the challenge of this magnitude. This is what has made it a fundamental strategic partner in many of our countries. Opening the summit, Chinese President Xi Jinping said that trade between Latin America and China is expected to surpass $500 billion over the next 10 years. Present parties have recognized that this partnership is strategic. As an exchange for heavy investment, China will import key products. This includes crude oil from Venezuela, soybeans from Argentina and Brazil, and copper from Peru and Chile, among other goods. We are finding our way, our potential. We are defining the beginnings of a new type of humanity in the 21st century based on peace and cooperation. Projected to become CELAC's largest trading partner by 2030, Chinese influence is on the rise in a region long dominated by the United States. Through events such as the ministerial CELAC China Summit and upcoming China Latin America Science and Technology Forum to be held in Quito in September, South-South cooperation is deepening in a way that honors mutual interests. Liz Scherfius, Delisord, Ecuador.